In this video, we're going to see if flex paste can patch a crack in a tractor tire. So stay tuned and we'll show you how we're going to do it. All right, so we're back working on the Model R here, and you know I have a tire here that has really, really good tread on it, but the problem is we got a big crack down here, and you can actually see the tube behind it there. And as you go up here, you know, another crack there, another couple there, 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 a couple all the way around, another one there, and I don't really have $1,500 to throw at a new tire here. And if I replace this tire with a brand new one, you know I'm going to have to do this one over here because this one's bald as can be. So what do I have to lose? We're going to try to take that flex seal and see if we can patch it up. So the goal is here, for starters, um, since I got this one slung open here, I'm going to clean it up uh, with some carb cleaner, get all the dirt and grime off there that I can. And then um, I'm going to smear a little bit in the crack here, roll the tire back so that it pinches back close, and then we'll smear some across the front. For all these other ones, none of these are actually through to the tube, but we're going to go ahead and just smear across the front of a bunch of these too after we uh, clean them up. So um, I'll show you the process as we're going. So give me a moment. All right, so here's a crack. So we're going to take some uh, carb cleaner here and spray it around to make sure we get rid of any dirt and oil and things like that. And then we're going to go ahead and take our wire brush. Now, the one that's slung open here, again, the tube is back there, so i got to be careful not to hit the tube, but I just want to try to get all the dirt and grime off of here. So I'm going to take my wire wheel and rough up the area. I'm just going all around the area that I uh, intend to put the, the uh, flex paste here, so I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit it with carb cleaner one more time just to get off any remnants. Alright, um, I'm going to go and grab the flex seal and um, we'll start getting to work on this. So give me just one moment. Alright, we've got our flex paste here. i got a glove on that hand that I'm going to use. Um, do not discard foil, so you must be able to use that to reseal it once you're done. So I'm going to go ahead and peel that off. Oh yeah, look at that goo goo. Take a bit and put it, oh yep, put it on my finger. That is some tarry stuff. This is my first time working with this stuff, so this is a new experience for me. Alright, so I'm going to just take it and try not to get it on the tube. Just smear a little bit on the face of that crack on both sides, so that when that crack does go back together, It'll help adhere it a little bit better. So we got some of that worked in there. All right, um, now I'm gonna off camera roll the tire to make it so that the crack goes back together and then we'll show you the rest of the process. All right, so we've actually rotated the, the tire all the way so that's at the top to take the most pressure off. You can see it's still slung open a little bit here, but now we got our putty knife and we got our flex paste. We're gonna go ahead and try to smear that on there. So let's see how this works out. Start with a little bit here. Another crack over here, we'll work it in there. So yeah, we'll work that in there, smear it across. I'm gonna lay it on kind of thick there just to you know build it up, give it a little bit more flexibility. But I don't know, this will be cool if this works, but we'll see. Smooth her out a little bit. Okay, I mean I think I'm gonna leave it like that for a first pass and see how that goes. 
So it says you got to give it 24 to 48 hours of curing time, so we'll just leave that sit. But I'm going to go ahead and clean up the other spots around the tire there and um, do the same process. So I'll set you back up on a time lapse. You can watch if you want to. Then I'll show you the end result. So stick with me here. Well, here's the result. You know, I'm not the best spackler here or anything, but uh, I just kind of slopped it on there pretty thick and made sure to work it in all the cracks. But um, you can see there were quite a few cracks along this guy. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It worked in, worked in pretty good. Seems promising. That was a big crack down there again. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry until tomorrow. And then we'll jump back and uh, I'll show you how it looks. So we'll uh, see you tomorrow. All right, and we're back. Um, it's actually 48 hours later. I came out here yesterday at 24 hours and uh, felt around, and it was still a little gummy yet um, because it's pretty humid here. But uh, here we're at 48 hours. It feels pretty good. Everything seems to have heared pretty good. Um, it looks, you know, pretty good in all the patches that I hit there. I uh, won't really know the full results until I get the tractor back together and go out and start driving around and do some tillage work with it. But it looks promising so far. So, you know, hey, it's worth a shot here. Um, I will do a follow-up video to show you the results and, you know, long-term results, but I don't know. I kind of like it. So, um, you know, something y'all can try, see if it helps you out. Um, looks good to, for me so far. So um, if y'all like these videos, please subscribe so we can keep this sort of thing going. So uh, until the next one, we'll see ya.